Good evening, humans. Transverse Moth here. And tonight we're taking a look at the WWE Ultimate Edition Monday Night War Eddie Guerrero figure from Mattel. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks absolutely fantastic. Some might argue this is a big upgrade from the last Ultimate Edition Eddie we got. And, uh, you know, obviously this is a much younger Eddie, so not quite as swole, but I mean, I think they really did a good job with the formula here. Just it, it works really well, very proportionate. Uh, not only that, but the gear is amazing. Really love that they got just all the gold here on both the boots and the pants themselves. You can see just that nice consistent gold, the red, the black, just fantastic looking gear overall as it is. Uh, we get the face sculpt, which looks awesome. Um, definitely a little softer of a presentation than the other Eddie figures that we've gotten recently, but it definitely works. I think they did a fantastic job with the hair, especially just really good stuff. And uh, beyond that, I mean, just everything it needs to be just really awesome looking figure. It's an ultimate edition. So of course we get a great loadout of accessories here. So let's start off with hands and right out of the box, we do get our requisite set pair of C grips, pardon me. Then we get a pair of fists and finally a pair of open hands. Pretty much the basics of what we would expect to see. So good work there. Then we get three separate head sculpts. So we get the kind of neutral face that we saw in the last section. Then we get a gritted teeth face, kind of slightly more intense. And then finally we get the yelling face and great sculpts all around. Great work, especially with the paint with the teeth and the tongue, like just everything has a nice sense of just quality to it. So good work all around there. Then we get a soft good shirt. Uh, this is sleeveless. We do have the Velcro in the back. The Eddie Guerrero is my favorite wrestler design on the front. And we even get a little tear here at the top of the collar. At least I think that's supposed to be there. Uh, I've heard a slight tear when I was putting it on the figure, but I don't think that was it. I think I was just kind of me stretching the fabric. And then finally, probably my favorite accessory here, we do get the Cruiserweight Championship from WCW and uh, done very, very nicely. Great sculpt, really nice clean paint all around. Just good work. So that will do it for accessories. Articulation balance here are excellent. It being an ultimate edition again, we get freestanding kicks. Didn't take too long to get into this, so that's very, very nice. Uh, getting into the finer points, gotta be careful there. Uh, so we do have our barbell from the body into the head. Uh, not really getting any up because of that hair. The slightest bit of down. There's not really a lot of room under that head sculpt. We do get slightest bit of tilt. Get some rotation, of course. And we get those butterfly joints sitting up that far back, that far forward. There's our, there's our neutral back, forward. <laughs> We get up into a perfect T. Do get bicep swivel, double jointed elbows coming in there. Do get hinge and swivel at the wrist. We get a ball joint at the diaphragm, kicking forward about that much, back about that much. Nothing crazy. Uh, we get rotation from swivel at the waist. We do have drop down hips, which go quite far actually, and that's going to allow us to get full on splits, puzzly beautiful. Uh, left leg on mine pretty much overall is very loose, so I guess be careful of that. Uh, we do get thigh swivel, double jointed knees, bring us to there. Then we get boot swivel, we get perfect point, inhuman forward, we get rocker both in and out, and a toe hinge. So that will do it for articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with some other WWE figures. With some other wrestling lines. With some domestics. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with our articulated icons, Oni, and yours truly, in human form, as a Valor vs. Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the WWE Ultimate Edition Monday Night War Eddie Guerrero figure from Mattel is that this figure rules. It's really good to see Eddie just getting really some of the best figures in Mattel's lines, both uh, Elite and uh, Ultimate Edition. Like this, this figure is fantastic. Despite some of the loose joints, that's just gonna happen. It's kind of like a Mattel thing. Um, 
I, I just, it, it's a mass produced thing. It happens. Um, so I can tighten up those joints and that's fine. Hopefully that's not the issue if you pick yours up. Um, this figure, this wave, him and Mankind are showing up on shelves as of me recording this review. Um, that may vary depending on where you are. Uh, probably on the opposite side of that where it's starting to kind of go off of shelves. Um, so I wish you the best of luck finding it in the wild. If I can find the landing page, which I should be able to because I was able to get my pre-orders in, but I did find this on a shelf um, outside of that. Um, you know, the, hopefully you can find it near you. So if you if you wish to pick it up, if not, I definitely wish you the best of luck on the secondary market. Great figure. So absolutely recommend it. Uh, that being said, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If that's the case, I hope to see you back because we do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, of course, and more. So if any of that appeals to you, come on back. Let's we'll just talk some really nice plastic, escape the world for a while. But really, at the end of the day, I just hope you're well. Hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.